Hi, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Anna Ivy, and I'm a former Dean of Admissions from the University of Chicago, and I decode the application process for you and give you practical, actionable advice so that you can get into the best colleges for you. I'm here to teach you how to think like an admissions officer, which is the only audience that matters for your applications. Today, I wanted to talk briefly about the word holistic, the H word. You may have heard admissions officers throw that around when they talk about their review process at selective colleges and universities in the United States. And what they mean by holistic is not the mm, yoga kind of holistic. What they mean is a whole person review of your application, which differs in some pretty fundamental ways from the way university admissions works in other countries. What that means in their holistic review is that they look at not just your grades, not just your test scores, they're also looking at your essays and your teacher recommendations, what your counselor thinks of you, interviews if that's part of the process. There are all these other components that get taken together as a whole. They don't look at any one part part of your application in a vacuum. Here's the secret they don't tell you. And when I first figured this out as an admissions officer, it kind of blew my mind. When they're telling you that they use a holistic review, what that actually means is that they're also giving you instructions for how to fill out your applications. So what does that mean in practice? That means that you should not be working on any one component of your application in a vacuum either because it won't be evaluated in a vacuum. So when you're working on your essay, it don't think of it as as a standalone piece, it has to work within the context of the whole rest of your application. So what that means is if you're covering something adequately in another part of your application, you don't have to be redundant and cover it somewhere else in the application as well, unless the application forces you to sometimes. It can be duplicative. But when you're thinking about, for example, your essay topics, Think of it as a whole. Which parts have you already covered elsewhere? Guess what? Don't write about those in your essays. So I know during the summer, it's very common for high schools, for example, to have you working on your essay before the applications have even been released, but you don't know yet which other essays you're gonna be writing for your college supplements, for example. Those are college-specific essays. Maybe you haven't done your activities list yet. That's tricky. So if you're writing an essay this summer, that's fine, but under understand that you need to take a fresh look when the applications get opened up and you can look at the whole application and you might not end up using that essay. You might be writing a new one. That's okay. That's fine. Just make sure all the pieces fit together and that you're not being duplicative. You're not repeating yourself. You're not being redundant. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and check out my other video on college activities lists.